Hi, I'm Atan, and I'm super, super excited to be here. It's amazing to see all of you. This is just amazing, amazing, amazing. And today, in the next 10 minutes, I'd like to explain to you how Wiz innovates and addresses vulnerabilities man management in the cloud. And before we begin, I'd like to provide an overview of the vulnerability management state that the security teams are facing today. First, this would not shock you, but the numbers of vulnerabilities is constantly, constantly increasing on a yearly basis. Every year, the security team is facing more vulnerabilities. The second part is that actors are getting more sophisticated, and as a result, more vulnerabilities are getting exploited in the wild. Next, the time to fix a vulnerability is just huge, more than 60 days to fix a vulnerability. And if that's not enough, the security teams are getting bombarded with an overwhelming number of emerging threats every single week and week and week and week and week. I think you got the point. This is just too much to handle. And there are tools that are supposed to address this problem, this challenge. And these tools are the traditional vulnerability assessment tools. And the way they work is through two simple steps. One, you either deploy an agent, and an agent is just like a mini application you install on a server, a virtual machine, even your own laptop. Or, if you choose to, you can also deploy scanners. Scanners is basically an appliance, a computer, a virtual machine, or a physical appliance you deploy in your network. You need to provide a network configuration, authentication permission to all of your resources in your new environment. And these tools are doing a pretty good job in the on-prem world. However, they are having huge problems in the cloud because the cloud actually changes everything. And the first question and the first challenge with the cloud is how do you even know what you have in the cloud? Think of it. The cloud is an ever-growing, ever-changing, dynamic environment. New resources are being instantiated every single hour. Security teams don't have control or visibility. There are multiple business units, application, owners. How do you even know what resources you have in the cloud? Second, how do you even enforce agents or scanners? Again, the cloud is a hyperscale environment, ever-changing, ever-growing. You have new resources that are being instantiated every hour, every day. How do you make sure that you install an agent? And Tomer told me yesterday, Tomer, our amazing security guy, I don't install agents in the cloud. Yeah, but then you're left with scanners. How do you deploy scanners in the cloud, provide them network configuration? How do you even know what virtual networks you have in the cloud? And instead of focusing on solving vulnerabilities, the teams are chasing an ongoing and never-ending battle on what to scan and how to scan. Also, the cloud introduces new set of technologies that are unagentable and unscannerable. This is a new word I just invented. And um, these technologies, think of it, if you use firewall from AWS Marketplace, you cannot scan it. You cannot install an agent on it. What about serverless? What about the cloud native services? You have huge blind spots of vulnerabilities. The cloud changes everything in that aspect. And last but not least, how do you face hundreds or maybe millions of vulnerabilities? The scale of the cloud is huge. How do you even tackle those? How do you assess which of your resources are at most critical risk? Which have the biggest attack surface? Which have the biggest blast radius? The cloud makes it so much complicated than the on-prem environment to answer those questions. But luckily, we have Wiz that requires a new approach in the cloud and in the by the end of the show, I hope I can convince you through five simple aspects why Wiz is a cloud-native, next-generation vulnerability assessment solution. And the first aspect is it's completely agentless and scannerless, another word I just invented. And being agentless and scannerless means that you deploy it in minutes or hours. And this is huge. And one of the customer stories you're going to hear later today, they told us explicitly that it would have taken them months or even years to deploy agents in the cloud. With Wiz, you can deploy our agentless solution in a few minutes. This is huge. And not only that, the deployment is just one part. We eliminate the need for ongoing maintenance. No need to enforce agents. No need to enforce scanners. 
providing network configuration, authentication, managing those keys. So instead of chasing a watch scan, you actually chase how to fix those things. And this is super important. The next part is we perform wide assessment across all the clouds, across agentable technologies like virtual machine and container images, and even unagentable technologies like appliances, uh, serverless functions, cloud native services. We're not done here. Wills also performs deep, deep assessment. And think of it, agent-based solutions need to run on a computer, on a virtual machine, and they consume resources. So the assessment is super shallow and very simple. With our agentless approach, we're able to scan it in an offline manner and find all those hidden dependencies and libraries that are hidden out there in your environment. The next part of why Wiz is the next generation vulnerability assessment solution in the cloud is that Wiz was built from day one to support hyperscale. We have the best engineering team I've seen ever. And some of them are here today. Give them a big pause. <laughs> from day one, every time they think of a new feature, they think about scale, scale, scale. This tool was built by cloud engineering teams for the use of cloud engineering teams, and we are able to support the largest environment out there. And as a result, we are able to add detection within a few hours and update our vulnerability catalog multiple times a day. The next part and the last part of why Wiz is so unique in the cloud in terms of vulnerability management is the risk-based prioritization. You heard the wonderful Matika and George explain what we do in the network and identity. We are able to reduce the alert fatigue of the enormous amount of vulnerabilities that companies are facing these days by focusing on the resources that truly matter, the ones that are, have the biggest attack surface, that have the biggest blast registry, identity, or secrets, or the most critical assets. And a live example of our capabilities was during Log4Shell. For those of you who are not familiar with Log4Shell, this is like the biggest vulnerability that we've seen in the past few years, even the past decade. And this was huge for Wiz. First, we've added detection in less than one day since official disclosure. This is absolutely mind-bending. Just as a reference, the traditional tools, it took them week or even weeks to get an initial detection. And think of it, you're a security team that, being, that having the, 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 the tremendous pressure of having visibility for log 4 and you need to wait a week or weeks just to get initial visibility on log 4 and let's put aside the agent uh, deployment and making sure that everything is updated. This is just amazing. The next part is that we provided, thanks to our amazing threat research team, a single pane of glass that users can see across the entire clouds, business units, application, all the vulnerable resources, and not just the agentable resources, but also the unagentable ones, appliances, cloud-native services. The next part is the deep assessment. And what you see here is a quote from one of the leading vulnerability management tools. And the way they detect log 4 shell was basically by searching file names or file descriptor names. And if any of you have familiarity with libraries in Java, this is not enough. Usually, you use log4j as a dependency, or more even a dependency of a dependency. So looking for file names is not enough. You need to find those buried instances of log4shell within every instance of your environment. And that's what we did. This is taken from an official advisory. We are very proud to share it with a customer what we do, exactly how we do it, and being fully transparent about our deep assessment. The last part is that we provided risk-based prioritization. We allow the customer not only to know what resources they have, they're vulnerable, but to reduce the alert fatigues of having 1,000 vulnerabilities, just a few dozens, by introducing risk-based prioritization, identifying the resources that are effectively exposed to the internet, that have the biggest blast radius through identity or secret. And what you see here is a real-world example for our customer. Instead of dealing with almost 7,000 vulnerabilities, we prioritize the top critical risk customer should have taken care of. And this reduces time, reduces alert fatigue, making it more easy to address those challenges. If there's one thing I want you to take from this session, is again that Wiz is a cloud-native, next-generation vulnerability assessment solution. You deploy it in minutes. It provides cross-platform, cross-cloud visibility. It provides risk-based prioritization, and it can cover your blind spot. Thank you very much.